families across the borders surrounding them, but they're stuck in here. They're one of the remotest high altitude communities in the world. The Kyrgyz of Afghanistan is a small community living in this high altitude plateau at the easternmost end of the Wahan Corridor in the Pamir Mountains. Finally, looking at the frozen Wahan River. Quite amazing. And uh, now oh. I'm about to step on the river. There you go. To study the Afghan Kyrgyz had been a dream of mine. The fact that here, up at 4,500 meters, these people are living year round, doing very little different than they had for the past couple hundreds of years. They come down to Pakistan to barter the animals for things they can't find in the Pamir. The winter in the Pamir was an especially challenging time to be up there. The wind just doesn't stop blowing at all. In the daytime, if I had the idea of going out, the guys would look at me is like, are you nuts? Don't you just want to sit down and have another 20 cups of tea? You know, why would you go and freeze your butt outside? One of the biggest problems that the Kyrgyz have created for themselves up in the Pamir is the use of opium. Most of these people are pretty heavy users. Serious addicts will impoverish themselves and their family to feed their addiction. Osman's father was a heavy opium user, an addict. As a result, they had essentially no animals of their own. So instead, it was arranged with the Han that he would work there as a shepherd. If he wanted a wife, he was going to have to go earn a hundred sheep. <laughs> this guy, Nassim, his wife had recently died. Probably he will never have another wife. You need a family as a Kyrgyz, you need kids to take care of you when you get old. There's this tendency to romanticize it, but the Kyrgyz, they don't romanticize their lives at all up there. They view it as difficult and unpleasant. If most of them could have an easier way out, they wouldn't hesitate to take it. This border situation is crazy. It's not an open border. But if the border were lifted, this little girl wouldn't have died. And the one question they could never give me a long answer to it was why they stayed in the Pamir. They're just up there scraping out a living, living in this environment where humans aren't meant to survive.
is to stop, I think, or maybe it's for the horse. I think that's to go, huh? Yaks is um, definitely, or maybe is it goat? I don't remember. <laughs>